Hi, this is Chad. This is the first video in a series of videos of how to customize your VBS website. Um, so I'm assuming that uh, you've already done a couple of steps. That number one, you've already downloaded the template from the freetimewebdesign.com website and you have also downloaded and installed Microsoft Expression Web. This is the program that I use to customize the website. So this is the program I train on. The great thing, it's free. Um, so you can get your own copy of it. If you need a copy, you can go to freetimewebdesign.com, click on the free VBS, t VBS templates button, and follow the directions to get a copy of Microsoft Expression Web. But again, we're assuming you've already done that, so let's get started. The first part is inside of the directions you should have downloaded from our website. Uh, if you will jump right down to the step-by-step -step procedure, this is where we're going to begin this video. The first thing you need to do is, first of all, kind of get organized and get ready uh, to do the actual customization. So what I've done here is I've created a template of, um, um, that you can use or a table that you can use to help with the process. Over here, you're going to find uh, some kind of weird coded words. You can see like church name, street address, city name, state name. What we're going to do is in these fields here, where it says replace, we're going to type in your church's information or your VBS's information. This far, far column over here will tell us how many times that this particular phrase appears in the website. We'll use this number later to verify that the find and replace procedure that we're going to use worked properly. Okay, So the first thing we want to do is just begin typing in information about your church. So for me, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and put in my church's information. Okay in the address and again however you type this in your um, fields here this is how it's going to appear on your uh, website Hills AZ 85268 and you can put Arizona in here you can put um, or you know whatever your state name you can put in the full state name you can put in the two letter two letter code whatever works for you however again however you type it in here is how it's going to appear on your website I'm going to put our phone number in and again I'm just formatting it like you would see a traditional phone number but you can put it in any way you want now this next one is the church email um, this one's very important this is the email address so when someone goes to your website and fills out a student registration or a volunteer registration or just inquires from the website this is the email address that it's going to be sent to. Okay, So when somebody fills out a registration form and hits submit, it takes all of that information, converts it to an email, and emails it to you. We use a general email account for this, so I'm going to type that in there. The VBS start date is the first day of your VBS, so for this year, in 2014, it will be July 7th, 2014. The VBS end date is the last date of your VBS. So for us, that is the 11th. And then the start time is the time that your VBS starts each day. Ours is a morning VBS, so ours starts at 8 a.m. And I do recommend that you put in a.m. or p.m. Ours ends at noon. And we'll put that there. Um, the VBS start age, this is the youngest um, age that people can come our students can come to your VBS so that might be a grade it might be an age an actual age so for us um, we can take three years old assuming that they're potty trained because we don't like to change diapers at our VBS <laughs> um, and then we go up to fifth grade but you can put whatever you want if you want to put you know two years old um, up to 15 years old or um, you know preschool or kindergarten to 10th grade whatever you want to put in there is totally fine and then the last part is the uh, cost information uh, so if it's free you would just type in free so for our VBS it's $15 per student and there's a $30 max per family okay so it's very important that we get this information all typed in. Uh, it's ready to go. It's going to help the, the customization process um, go much smoother uh, when we get to that portion. 
Uh, now we're going to get ready to actually open the website and extract it. So I'm going to move these out of the way. I'm going to go right over here. Um, as you can see, I've already downloaded the template. I'm using the uh, Gospel Light Sun Treasure Island one. So I'm going to right click on that file and I'm going to hit extract all. That's going to extract all of the files and I'm going to have them extracted right to my desktop. So just go ahead and extract there. It's probably going to take a couple minutes for this to extract onto your computer. It's uh, over 1300 files um, that need to be extracted so it takes a little bit of time. I have a little bit older laptop here so it's going to take take a little bit. getting there. All right, perfect. So it automatically pops that for me. I'm going to close this out. You can see here it's created a brand new folder. Um, I don't know why it does this, um, but it creates another folder within the folder. Uh, but this is the folder um, that actually contains the website. So if I double click there, you can actually see the website here. You can actually open up the uh, page and look at it. But you can see what that uh, website looks like. But again, it, as you can see, it doesn't have any of the church's inf your church's information. It just comes in with just keywords in it. And again, we'll use those keywords to allow the computer to go in and put your information in all over this website. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out, and I'm going to close this. Now let's go into Microsoft Expression Web. I'm going to double click here, and I'm going to show you how to open up this website. Okay, now it's already opened up for me because I've already opened it up once. But all you have to do is click on Site and then click open site now here you're going to browse to wherever you extracted your files to so for me I extracted mine on the desktop so click browse I'm going to go to the desktop here I'm going to go into the folder and then it creates another folder once I see this this is an indication that I'm in the website okay then I click open what it's going to do is it's going to add this website to what's called the managed list. So these are all different websites that I've worked on recently. So it adds that. So later on, if I have to come back and reopen the site, I can just, instead of going through this whole browse process, I can just pick the website. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click open. Here is the website. Now over here, if you don't see this, I'm going to recommend that you turn this on. Um, this is the folder view list and uh, you you can view this if if all you see is this it looks like this when you first open expression web you still can do this but i actually like it better um, if you have the folder list available if you go to panels and then select folder list it will put the folders over here this just shows you the structure of the website it's easier to kind of navigate and get around to the website okay but that's it that's how you open the website on the next video we're actually going to go through the actual customization process show you how to do the find and replace uh, properly okay so thank you we'll see you in the next video